Welcome back to the channel, Fat Boys. It's been a while. How's everyone doing? You doing good? I'm doing good. So today we're gonna be talking about the old helmet that I used to have, the LS2 Breaker helmet. Let's get into it. So we are talking about the LS2 Breaker helmet because I had it for about a year and a half and I wanted to give a little bit of a review on it so we're just gonna talk about it for just a little bit as I'm on my lunch break from work. So the helmet itself is LS2. It is their full face helmet that is also has a drop down visor. It's a like pretty good helmet for the price. So that's the first thing. It is ridiculously cheap. It starts around $120 right now. I purchased it for about 150 and so the price is going down with it. It is ESC rated. It is very comfortable for the price. You're only coming in at a little over a hundred dollar price mark. So within that price range, the, about the a little over a hundred dollar mark, you're getting pretty comfortable padding in there. You're having emergency releases. You're having a drop down visor. You're having tons of airflow through it. And you are having a pretty reputable company for a helmet brand. The helmet is a intermediate oval. I am a size large head if I'm not mistaken I'm about the 61 centimeter mark so whatever that is I can't remember what sizing that is what I noticed is that their helmet is even though it says intermediate oval it's a little bit more on the oval side than the intermediate oval it's not a true intermediate oval it has a little bit more of those pinching points on the head it's still comfortable like if you are a true intermediate oval like most of the American population you come, the helmet will still feel comfortable, it'll still feel nice and snug around your face, but you're still going to have maybe a little bit more pressure than you might be used to in the certain parts. And the foaming is actually very, very plush on that helmet. It, I felt like it actually might have been a little bit too plush to the point where I was having chipmunk face. I felt like I was all squished up like grandma was pinching my cheeks and everything like that pushing them together and then also the spacing between the front of my face and the inside of the helmet i felt was really close i felt like i could barely get a finger in there it was super close and i felt like there was barely any spacing to breathe maybe you like that close closeness of the face but that's what makes me feel like that helmet is also more oval than intermediate oval but still falls within that intermediate oval category these are all things you should be aware of when looking at getting that helmet so i did end up getting a brand new helmet that's why i don't have the front camera on here right now because i want to keep it a little bit of a surprise i'm testing it out right now i'm exploring the possibilities and seeing how well this audio does this is the first time i'm doing the video on this new helmet and I'm seeing how it's gonna sound and we're just going with the flow with it. So if you like this video guys, make sure you go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Make, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring that bell notification so you know when the next video comes out. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.